Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Sockcore Brony, welcoming you back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0. After much delay, but yeah, I'm finally over my cold or whatever it was, but anyway, <laughs> a little longer than I might have liked, but it is time for that dungeon. The one that everybody seems to hate except for me. And also the last dungeon before the final one, or the last optional one we can do. I think technically this is supposed to be like the second to last dungeon, because this guy will sell you information about the dungeon underneath Canterlots. <laughs> so I think technically we're supposed to do this one like second to last, but... Ah, yes they did. <laughs> he didn't listen! But I will not turn back, as I take this party with me. Now, I was considering taking Cadence instead of Trixie, just because there's a couple of spells that Cadence still needs to learn, but I realized I don't really need them for her. So, I'm gonna take Trixie along, as I think she is a bit more useful here overall anyway. So, with these guys, I am equipped with full-on, well, best weapons I can get. Twilight, Jeweled Sword's the best I got at the moment. Ether Bells, and otherwise, Magic Splints and Scaled Costumes for as much magic defense as I can. Well, for the most part. I'm not going for as most as I can, but for the most part, keeping it pretty darn high, as you can see there. I also have Reflect Rings to protect me from, well, mostly from, is from status effects, although there are a couple of monsters that will reflect status effects off themselves to get through our reflect, so there is that. And otherwise, I have Memento Rings and Safety Rings, except for Trixie there, because there is at least one monster that can use Instant Death and also, I think, the Gravity Spell. Trixie, if she dies, I don't really care, mostly because the enemies here don't give experience points. Uh, only magic point, so Trixie can't do anything with that anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. I mean, I am going to get another safety ring on the way up. In fact, re like, first treasure chest I come across is going to have the safety ring in it, but I'm still going to keep Trixie with the back guard, because I just would prefer that. <laughs> now, Trixie, otherwise, I have her with the fight, magic, and item commands. If you want to have the magic command in this dungeon, because that's just the way it works, because... Once we go up here, our... Is it gonna show? Oh, I guess not. Okay, well. Anyway, yeah, we're only gonna have access to the magic command, which the way this dungeon works, it turns our fight command into the magic command. So that's why you must have the fight command on Trixie if you want to have access to it, although she does have access to Mimic all the same. The only reason I have access, or that I've given her the magic command, is so that I can actually access the espers. Uh, command, which otherwise you wouldn't be able to if you don't have a magic command. And then items is the other thing that you can use, so yeah, nothing else, everything else will be locked away, you won't be able to use them, so fight and items at least on Trixie there. And you can see I have her with Medley because there was actually four of the, uh, well, ten random encounter monsters we can meet are affected by Mute. I don't think anything here is affected by Sleep. So, yeah, I definitely want Medley there. Otherwise, I'm, yeah, mostly just learning spells for the others there. Twilight, well, let's show, let's show you in the Esper here. Yeah, I got Twilight. She needs to learn Hastega. I don't care about Sloga. Oh, and she's also right there as far as re-raise goes, so I'm not worried about that. And I don't really care about Graviga since I have Chief. Let's see, uh... You still need to learn Arise at least, although I would like to try to get Re-Raise for you, potentially. And also Chief, which he has not even started on, and Sweetie Belle also actually doesn't have quite a few spells uh, throughout here. You know, Meteor Grab, she doesn't even have Protect. I actually have her with Wind Whistler, specifically because I want to teach her to Dispel, not because I care about anything else here. And I think that'll be the last, uh, regular ability I want for her. I still have a little ways to go with Arise and Mini Rays. I'm not really worried about that. And I don't really care about much else that I could teach her either. Actually, she's gonna learn Kiraga from her weapon anyway. But anyway, yeah, going up here, uh, you can't run from any of the monsters. Except, I think, for one. 
And also, none of the monsters here appear on the Prancing Plains, except for that one I was just talking about there. We have various kinds of monsters, level 40 magic, level 20 magic. We have level 10 all the way up through level 90, although I think you could only meet the first, uh, first, like, level 10 to level 40 on this floor. Uh, they, the way they all work in one sense is that their HP is determined by their level. There'll be, well, their level multiplied by 100, so they, these, got level 20 magic has 2,000 HP, level 40 has, uh, 4,000. The way I like to deal with the levels 10 through, uh, 50, for the most part, is just I'm going to cast Meteor and have Trixie mimic that, and that should pretty much deal with everything. Yeah, those guys, I think... Those ones are the level 40 magics down there. They like to use... Oh, he cast a Vanish? Huh. They like to use uh, yeah, wind, earth, and water elements, which you cannot reflect, so that doesn't really help there. And the level 20 guy up there, he actually has auto-reflect and is affected by instant death if you care, but I don't. Oh, never mind, I guess it's the other way around. Oh, I had it backwards, sorry. <laughs> anyway, that level 4, okay, he's the level 40. But yeah, level 40, for some reason, he likes to cast Berserk on himself. And he's immune to it, so I don't know what the deal is with that. <laughs> anyway, so we learn Kiraga, and Dispel, and Shell, and... Uh, unless he got a Rise, and Cyclone that I don't care about. Uh, yeah, I'll keep you with Sun Shimmer for now. I'll keep on letting re -rays. Sweetie Belle, I guess I'll try learning Meteor and whatnot. I mean, I might as well get protected, even though I don't care. But yeah, most of these guys, I don't even care what their weaknesses are. Although, I guess I should say level 20 magic is weak. Or actually, no, it doesn't have any weaknesses. It absorbs poison, never mind. Level 40 magic is weak to lightning, but yeah, Meteor works just fine. Now, there's going to be several of these rooms on the way up, one per, well, uh, sections of floors, I guess you could say. And this room, the rules are a little different here. We can meet all the way up to level 90 magic in these rooms, and we're also highly likely to meet the only enemy that we can meet on the Prancing Plains, which is called the Magic Urn. Hopefully I do meet that at some point. Got a safety ring there, which I could give to Trixie, but nah. I'll keep her with the back guard. I don't care if Trixie does. Oh, what am I doing? Other thing I want to do. What am I meeting? Magic urn, sweet. Yeah, these guys. Yeah, it's the jelly, dude. <laughs> yeah, these guys, they will only ever try to heal you. They're good for osmosing on, and they'll well, they'll try to heal you themselves. But they'll do so randomly and also randomly flee. I've had a battle once where the guy stuck around for like 15 turns. Because they're immune, actually they absorb every single element and are immune to every single status effect, I think including vanishing image, if I'm not mistaken. So they are actually really good for Scootaloo to learn in that regard, since they can absorb everything, and their ability is Kiraga, so there is that. Yeah, other thing, I don't know how you're supposed to know this in Philly Fantasy. But if you talk to the wall, you'll hit a switch there. In the original game, some random NPC tells you about it. In this game, I don't think anyone does that I can remember. I just can't recall anyone who mentions that switch. But anyway, yeah, this is the air anchor, the final weapon for Blast Sentry, and I guess by extension, Trixie there. Yeah, this is... Well, technically instant death, it's kind of a weird one because it will hit an enemy and then they have to take an action and then they will die. <laughs> uh, most people think it's, or well, a lot of people just say think it's kind of useless because it, well, takes a turn of the monsters doing something before it works. Uh, I and many other people like it simply because it's just free instant death. It seems like it's a little late in the game to get it, but I'm going to be using it all the same. You guys again, I don't care. <laughs> I suppose I should mention, it's, I'm, besides the fact that I want Haystega, I also want to have some pony equipped with Chief anyway, because there are uh, four monsters up here we, affected by instant death, of which level 20 was one of them. Actually, I mostly care about the two higher leveled ones that are affected by instant death. 
because I can use Meteor to deal with everything else. Yeah, see? This guy likes to cast Berserk on himself, and he's immune to it! What is up with that? So yeah, he is the level 40 magic. I don't know what the deal is with him, but that's what he likes to do. Huh. Whatever. Yeah, now you're reflecting that, but I think everything here is immune to sleep, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of funny how they died after he took an action. But anyway, go Trixie! Well, technically Twilight. Interestingly enough, uh, there are some enemies in here who will, well, cast Dragon on themselves and reflect it back on you. If a character is dragoned and they try to use a spell and, well, fail because they turn into Spike there, Trixie can still mimic using their spell. So that's another reason I like to have uh, Trixie on this whole trick. Now that we're up here a little higher, we can meet, I think, up to level 60 or 70 magic. Level 50 magic, I don't really care, because he's affected by the death spell, and, well, he tries to use it himself. So... Yeah, he is otherwise... Oh, wait, no, he's not. Never mind. He's not one of the reflective ones. He is affected by Mute, though. Level 40, 50, 60, and 70 magic are all affected by Mute. So that's what I want to have Trixie around for, though mainly for level 60 and 70, which I don't think I can meet anything higher than 60 at this point, I don't think. See, and here we... Yeah, here we get my last crystal split that I want. Nice. Ah, level 30, 20, and 10. Level 10, I believe, is the guy on the bottom there. Level 30 is the one in the back. Uh, let's see, level 10 is inconsequential in, because it only has 1,000 HP. It's weak to fire and holy otherwise, if you care. And level 30 is one of the couple monsters that is uh, weak to poison. It absorbs holy and is otherwise affected by berserk, but I don't care because I'm just going to meteor these guys to death. In fact, I... Twilight can almost take out the level 30 magic on her own. Apparently, if I got one more level, she might be able to. Or if I had, you know... Ha! Uh... What is it? Oh, a jeweled ring. I can do it as well. Skadoosh. But yet... Yeah, Try Trixie combo with Meteor there, that works just perfect for level 50 and below. Maybe level 60, it might be able to do just enough damage for him as well, but I'm not- I don't really tend to meet that guy much. Now that we're on this floor, I think we can meet, yeah, up to level 70 there, so level 70 is also affected by instant death and is the next, uh, ref enemy that can't- that has auto reflect, so... Well, you can use water against him since that ignores Reflect, and he's also affected by Mute and Stop if you need to. But yeah, I have two monsters here that are affected by Instant Death, so let's get Twilight to use Chief. I have Twilight doing that a lot. They're not they're not 100% uh, necessarily going to be killed by it, so I might need to mimic that, so I'm actually going to wait. And yeah, these guys will cast spells... Uh, as, like, retaliatory abilities. <laughs> I don't know why they do Dispel as, like, a reflectable thing, but they do. Or on themselves, as a, or whatever. That was reflectable. It's counterattack, that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, he just used that as, like, a counter there. Oh. Mimic, anyway. You can still use a spell, even though you're berserked, as long as I did that ahead of time. So, let's see, fast forward level 40 magic, he is weak to lightning, so let's just get a nice Thundaga on him, and we should be good. Kinda sucks they all got to go before me. It's still funny how they're counter-attacking each other. Yeah, Rasp is not affected by instant death there, or so, er, not instant death, by reflect. Well, the guy who's vanished should get hit by this guaranteed. Ha! Okay, well, thanks, Trixie, for your efforts. That's not gonna help, but there it is. That guy is not affected by instant death. But anyway, Thundaga, and that should be like, yeah, more than enough. I don't think Thundara would be quite enough, though. Oh, level 60, there he is. 
Let's see, yeah, that guy up at top there. Let's see, level 60 is weak to fire, and you can't hit him with Newt, so there is that. He does absorb ice, but let's see. Twilight, I want you to use the... Yeah, the whole meteor thing there. Or you guys could kill yourselves. And let's see, otherwise... Let's just get a nice fire on you, and that should be good. Well, just in case, let's get a basic fire spell. I'm glad he didn't cast Reflect on level 60. That would have been bad. I mean, we have really high magic defense anyway, but still. Now, why is he trying to cast Reflect on us? Why are you trying to cast Regen on us? Maybe it's based on Reflect or something, I don't know. Maybe they, it, it's something in their AI script that protects the Reflect spell? I, uh, oh, is she not dead? Did I not quite do enough damage? Oh, no, there's a turn, it's just taking it up. Yeah, that should do it. Awesome, yeah, that wouldn't be enough for the level 40 magic then, it looks like. Oh, Raviga, not that I care. Oh, we got Sloga and Haystega though. Okay, cool. Let's see, someone else needs that. I'm so close with that. You know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and have you start learning Chief then, and I want you to get that last bit of Sun Shimmer. Or, no, I want... Oh, there you are. Meteor? Eh. Keep learning that for now, then. I'm not, I don't really care what Sweetie Belle learns at this point. Mm. Get a little healing in there, just for the heck of it. Uh, get up there. Uh, no, up there. Thank you. And yay, yeah, got re-raised. What else do I want you to learn, Twilight? You don't have anything else I care about. Or don't need anything else. I mean, there's a lot of spells you're missing, but I don't care about Berserk or Tremor and Quake and I think we don't know Poison yet. And Reflect I don't care about. Vanish I don't care about. And I think you have everything else, so... Scourge? Sure, why not. Uh, might as well at least get a Rise. And in here... Looky, looky who? Got a Magic Splint that I don't care about because I already have four of those. And it is time to change my equipment around. See, so yeah, I haven't even gotten any damage. Ooh, Twy, you really need MP. Hmm. Uh, actually, can I get into a fight with a magic urn? Oh, please don't be level 90 magic. Thank you. Yeah, let me get my MP back and change my equipment up a little bit. And we'll be right back. Well, that didn't work out. They ran too quickly. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, good thing I have a ton of Cider Cups, though. I had 50 of them, actually. My equipment hasn't changed too much. My main change is that I have equipped Scaled Hoods to increase my magic defense to as high as I can get it for each of these guys. Uh, especially Sweetie Belle, who's one point away from max. Rarity is the only character who can get maximum magic defense. And let's see, yeah, Trix, let's see, then as you can see, Trixie with Masquerade, Sweetie Belle with Moon Dancer, Celestia with Chief, Twilight with Spike, well, Chief I don't care about, that's it, I'm just learning that, but yeah, Twilight with Spike there, and yeah, otherwise I've got ribbons and gold hairpins, I actually have enough gold hairpins to get to Trixie as well, but I decided to get her a jeweled ring just to try to make this go a little bit faster, and if you don't have four ribbons, because I did have to trade in a... Uh, Hero Rain to get my fourth ribbon there. If you don't have enough, uh, use the, er, no, Reflect. Or Re Relics. Yeah, use the White Cape, wherever I put it. Where's my White Capes? Well, they're in there somewhere. Huh, where's my White Capes? That's weird. Oh, there they are. Because, yeah, that'll even get, uh, well, Trixie almost to as much magic defense as I need. I think, actually, you can. Oh, yeah, you can get the amount if you need to, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, no, actually, no, you can't. Never mind. You're also short, so, yeah, only Sweetie Belle could do that with the white cape. <laughs> 
But yeah, that will protect me from at least the one status effect I kind of care about in this fight. Which I think is sleep, if I'm not mistaken. The White King does protect from sleep, doesn't it? I mean, besides the extra magic defense, which is imperative for what I'm about to do. Because we're going to be taking on the last of eight grass, and also one of the more annoying ones. Arabes! He has kind of a weird little pass there, but... Yeah, let's see. First things first. Trixie! I w if, if we had access to the summon command, this guy would be a lot easier, but we don't. So, I'm doing it this way. Moon Dancer and the light there. Let's see, I want to get Flare going. I think he's technically weak to water, but we can't really do much with that, or because his magic defense is so high. Let's see, I would do Spike, but let's get Hastega first, and that way I can have Trixie mimic that. Yeah, this guy has a really hard-hitting physical attack called Electrify, and... Oh, why hasn't gone yet. And he does it as a combo counter-attack oftentimes, because he'll al virtually always counter-attack with Rasp, and then follow it up, usually with Electrify, but not always. And that can do upwards of like 3,000 points of damage, since we have like no physical defense, so... Yeah, we're gonna take almost no damage. Otherwise, let's see, get a flare going there. Yeah, once our Masquerade runs out, yeah, image lasts for about two to three hits. Kind of randomly chooses there, which is how many. Let's see, and then let's get Spike. And a minute going there. And I have made sure that all of these characters know image so that they can get it on themselves once that runs out. Because it will run out eventually. But yeah, this guy has such high magic defense that his weakness, which again, I think is water, doesn't really matter. So I'm going to have to go with Flare instead. Oh yeah, that casts like poison and I think sleep or something like that, which is why I want the ribbons, so. And also why the white case worked pretty well. Double dra- or, well, I was gonna say double dragons, but I guess that technically is true. But yeah, double spikes! And otherwise, yeah, we'll leave resorting to the player spell. But yeah, always wait until you, to cast a spell, uh, to see what his counterattack will be, just to make sure, because Electrify will eventually get rid of our images there. So, let's see, do I need to restore my image? Nope. Let's mimic then. Yeah, and otherwise, yeah, this fight is going to take a while. <laughs> it's better to have the gold hairpins than the jewel rings because our MP is just going to just get sucked dry so fast, and I have to use Osmos quite a lot. Alright, let's get the player going there. Because, you know, he does do Rasp, too. I need my super high magic defense specifically for the Rasp. I don't care about everything else he does. I just want that to kill Rasp. Oh, wow, he didn't use Rasp as counterattack? Huh. I thought he virtually always did that. Good thing we also have really high magic block, too, so we can do something with that. Yeah, there's not a whole lot else to this fight. It's kind of funny, because this guy... It would otherwise be kind of a chump just by virtue of the location we're at because it kind of because we're stuck to using magic nope nope still didn't run out yeah we it's kind of uh, better to use unicorns or a team of unicorns even though I could also use cadence but unicorns have their helmet that blocks lightning so he would be totally screwed just by virtue of the location he chose, but he does other nasty things, so... Alright, you still got your image. Wow. That's lasting a lot longer than it usually does. I'm kind of shocked. Yeah, the damage is really low, unfortunately, overall. 
Yeah, he can barely rasp her at all. Rarity, he can only do that with one. Image is all the way at the bottom there, so just do it to yourself. Oh, yeah, he has Rasp Guh as well. Let's see how much he can take from every pony. Not much, but yeah, Rarity, he can only do like one point damage to. He can only steal one, in, or not steal, like eliminate one MP. So Rarity's really good for this, but I have intentionally not taught her much in the way of spells. So, yeah, I've taught her a couple of spells intentionally, like, you know, Osmos, Rasp, Death, and Rise, the Cure spells, but... Yeah, not a whole lot going there <laughs> for to make her useful for this fight, because she definitely doesn't know the Flare spell. At least I don't think I taught her the Flare spell. Alright, image yourself, because he pretty much won't use Electrify except as a counterattack, I think. Yeah, Trixie will probably have to do that too, but I can't really just mimic that, because she'll, well, use it on Twilight if she tries to mimic that, so... Yeah, I figured everyone would probably run out about the same time, but no, not today. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get a player spell there. Yeah, 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 Dark Mist. Do I want to even bother healing myself? I'm not going to run out of HP by the time this guy dies, I don't think. Yeah, thanks to Double Spike, it helps with the... Yeah, getting his damage down, because, yeah, this fight takes a long time since I can't use my summon command and just obliterate him with Spike. No Electrify? Okay, fine. I am going to have to do that soon. It feels weird having my HP below a thousand, though. I'm kind of tempted to heal myself. But I really shouldn't need it. Yeah, that helps speed things up a little bit, but not much. Yeah, so he does that, but he already did that at the beginning of the fight. Uh, yeah, go ahead and heal us up, Trixie, would you? It feels weird having my HP that low. I don't want to get into some weird position where I'm suddenly scrambling because my HP's hit like the 200 mark or something. But we could die soon. I kind of hope he does. This episode has gone a little longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. He didn't counterattack at all? Huh! Yeah, it's gone a little longer than I thought it would, but that's okay since, uh, well, I've been off for more than a week now. <laughs> it's a nice break, though. I got some good things done. So, you need to image yourself? Probably. No? Wow, your image has lasted a while. But you're also almost out of MP there. Can I kill you before I need to Osmos? Mm, no, apparently not. Well, at least we get good music. Dog the Daga! Yeah, another thing you can technically do for a lot of this dungeon is get a bunch of unicorn rings to dodge a lot of magic. But the fact is that there's the monsters that use, like, water and earth and wind, and those ignore evasion, so it wouldn't really help you that much as you might want it to. Dude, die already! You're taking forever, man! Yeah, this is like the only good reason that you might want to learn Ultima before this, because, man, this guy takes forever otherwise. Wow, your image is lasting a long time! Celestia, what the heck? Should I have done that just now? I probably should have Osmos instead, just for the amount of he's going to rasp her afterwards. How long has your image lasted, Celestia? How many hits has that taken already? I mean, dang! Ow, sort of. Yeah, it's mostly just the slow drain of HP that makes him dangerous, really, and his rasping, but I found a way around that with my super high magic defenses. Yeah, Cadence doesn't have quite as much magic defense as these guys either, so that also would have been a bit of an issue. How's your 
and yours is doing fine. Wow. I didn't really think it would take this long to beat him. Jeez. Uh, wait. Nope. Flare him. I never noticed that Celestia's horn lights up whenever she casts magic, or any of the unicorns for that matter. Huh. Kind of funny what details you notice when you're, well, paying attention to <laughs> other things. Yeah, I definitely need to Osmo. Oh, that could have been really bad if her super long-lasting image ran out right then. How many hits have you taken now? How many images do you have up, Celestia? Jeez. Oh, he's dead. Wow, I didn't need to Osmos at all. That's actually kind of a first. Well then, I'm gonna have to restore a lot of MP. But got 10 magic points, so nice boost on uh, Celesti there. And we get the Typhoon Pike. And also, we defeated all the eight Rass. The Dark Seal is broken. What does that mean? Receive the final Magicite, Legacy! How good is Legacy? Find out next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0. Arrivederci!